Uh, my name is Martin Hontred. I'm, uh, I'm the drummer of a Jagger Jazzist and I'm uh, also a film composer and uh, yeah, I write music for theater, film, documentaries, uh, TV series, like everything. I, uh, I started playing drums when I was uh, five, six years old and uh, and I um, yeah, just fell in love with the instrument and fell in love with, with being a musician from very early on. So I think I I decided to be like a f musician when I was 10, 11 years old and never look back anyway. Yeah. When writing this song sequence, um, I remember Håkon was very early on to point out that this part of the song, uh, from the middle of the song and uh, the rest of the song is really giving him Yaga Assist vibes. Uh, I could, could not do anything but agree. And, and then the idea sort of came, you know, when we're paying tribute to a band like that, by letting the influence be that heavy on a part of a song, why not ask the originators to uh, make a contribution? Wouldn't that be cool? They contacted us many, many years ago and, and asked if we could do something together. And we kind of used the same producer in their hometown, Bergen. Uh, and uh, Jürgen Tren, who has uh, produced many of the Yaga albums, he did some mixing on their album. So I think we met through him or something, or at least in Bergen. And uh, and uh, they did a project called Trinakra, which my girlfriend kind of was a manager for or something. So it's just, and uh, Eva's wife, she asked me to do a commission work for the the festival in, in Bergen last, uh, that was May, and then me and Ivar started working and, and talking about working together on this project. The first, the first track is a, is a pad, just a, just a, like a nice pad. And then it's the, this is kind of the main idea for the, for the music or for my music. This idea started from just listening to the song and Eva told me that there were some chords in this song that sounded a bit like Yaga. And when I heard the song, I totally understand. And many people say that, many people say that we have a song, you, you, I'm sure you're gonna like it, it sounds like Yaga. And then we listen to it and it has nothing, nothing to do with us at all. And I don't understand anything what they mean. But, uh, but this time the chords actually sounded like Yaga and that's, that's a, that was a fun thing to hear and, uh, and uh, so it was really natural for me to, to develop ideas that kind of sounds like a one-man band version of Yaga. I phoned up uh, Martin, which is a swell guy, um, in addition to being a fantastic musician. Very busy schedule, but eventually he managed to squeeze in uh, um, a listen through the song and he really reacted positively to it and I think he also heard that there was influences here coming from his part of Norway um, leaking into Enslaved's music. He took the challenge and he recorded it and I, I remember when we got it back and Eva made the first rough mixes with his contributions it was just mind-blowing. The way that he's a musical engine, um, a very good producer. Coming from the drummer point of view, it's some of the same qualities that we now see on Utgard in general, coming from Eva. Fantastic uh, contribution to the song and really lifts it. It really also shows how uh, different musical expressions can blend seamlessly when there's sort of a common idea behind it. Mm -hmm. 